All right, good morning, you guys. Hope you guys got your coffee. Hey, hey baby. Hey. I'm just shooting this video real quick just to show the guys this mod right here. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys. So a couple of people asked me about the mod, and so I, I told them I'd make a video. Um, I don't make these videos for mon uh, monetary gain or anything like that. Um, you know, I mean, I think YouTube sends me, you know, under a hundred dollars or something like that every two months, every three months, something like that. And I just spend it on buying stuff to make more mods, whatever, you know, it's just, it's just, just chump change. It takes me more time to put out these videos and, uh, than it, than it's worth, you know, so, but what's worth it to me, you know, is that, you know, I interact with some of you guys and I help you guys. So anyway, enough of me talking, but, uh, so a couple of you guys were, uh, wondering on if I kept put the wheels in the water the wheels don't go in the water I would never put my wheels in the water um, I mean you can do that if you want it's up to you but it's not going to track straight it's going to be a lot of drag it's going to you're going to paddle you're going to go nowhere you're going to waste all your battery you know trying to push those wheels through the water so um, I'll show you real quick how it comes off and you have to excuse the mess um, just got back from a fishing trip yesterday and uh, you know I left all my stuff out for the mods and stuff so here we go so this right here is the mod like you guys saw and what I did was I put just a, a little pin right here and I don't know the technical terms for all this stuff so if that's what you guys are after you're not going to get it here <laughs> but I you know I do know uh, the slang for stuff um, so what this is this is five inch inch five eighth inch all thread and then you have uh, I'm not sure the size of the pin but I drilled a hole through the all thread and I got the pin on here. Uh, these wheels, the reason why I went with these type of wheels is because they have their own bearing system where you can pinch both sides uh, with a little bit of pressure and the wheel will still spin where some of the guys are just using a wheel with just a hole in it and keeping it loose and allowing it to roll that way. But I have bearings in mine and uh, I think these, these were like 20 bucks a piece. You know, I wasn't trying to go the cheapest route possible. That's the thing. You know, I have some guys on there. They're like, oh, I got mine at Harbor Freight for five bucks. And that's great. Um, whatever works for you, that's all that matters. And that's why, you know, it's just, you know, you don't need to shoot down people's mods unless, you know, it's possible that a lot of people on here that make these videos, they're shooting these, these mod videos and they haven't even tried the thing out yet. And, you know, I get halfway through the video and they go, Oh yeah, so I'm going to try this out. I'll let you know how it works. I'm like, well, why'd you make the video? You know, make the video saying, you know, we're, this is what I'm doing. Come with me. We're going to test this out. But, um, or like I've already done, I've already used this plenty of times and it works great. So, um, the pin can get a little tough to come, to get out. So, um, I mean, you can carry like a carabiner on you or something like that. And you can just grab it with a carabiner and pop it out. Or you can just man up and, uh, you know, you can put a little bit of your finger here and you just kind of twist to open that end. And then you just pull straight up and the pin pops out. Now, again, that pin is kind of tough to get out. Now, you've seen how that popped on the ground. I carry extra pins just in case. It, comes, it came in like a two-pack or a three-pack. Um, but you can put, you know, like I said, if you have that carabiner, you click the carabiner on it, pop it out. It's going to stay on the carabiner and then you just click it to your pants and then you can put all this inside your truck or it also fits in the front hatch so um got a washer here five eighths inch regular old washer and then now i'm not doing this fast you guys can see you know how easy it is and then you guys can do it at your own speed but it's very easy it's, it's it takes nothing to do so so i have a, a handle right here all I do is I step right here, lift this up a little bit, take the wheel off, take this off, and I'll go over this in just a minute. There we go. So the whole thing's now off and ready to go in the water. And I didn't even try to be fast with it. You know, so that's, that's it. Goes on just as easy as well. All right. So we'll go over this real quick with you guys. So you can, now again, this is, um, this is not my idea. 
I actually seen it on YouTube. But I'm always afraid to credit somebody because a lot of most of the time they got it from somebody else. So um, I'm just gonna let you know that's not my idea. Although it was, I haven't seen anybody use the actual bearings inside the wheels. So um, that was a little bit of an upgrade that I wanted to do. Um, okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go get yourself a piece of five eighths inch all thread. And I think it comes in like three foot lengths or something like that for like seven or eight bucks at Lowe's is where I got it. All right, and then I got a locking nut on the end. Okay, and you don't have to worry about it spinning the locking nut off because again, these spin. So it's not going to spin it off. If you feel better, you can put some on it, but I don't leave it tight enough to where that is even gonna be an issue. So you got five eighths inch all thread. Uh, don't cut it until you get everything set up and you can make a mark. Um, so you got your all thread, you got your five eighths inch nylon bolt or a nut, I'm sorry. And then these here are is one inch PVC with one inch caps. I didn't glue them on or anything like that. Um, so what I did was I cut the actual PVC, two, p two pieces of one inch PVC at seven inches. You can go a little bit shorter if you want, but these are seven inches and then I put the caps on. So cut these at seven inches and then put the caps on. And then you're gonna drill out, use the step up bit. And I drilled out holes on the ends. So that way it'll slide on there no problem. Okay, and then you're gonna need three of these 5 8 inch washers. And then of course, a package of these pins. Now, just size up the size of the pin to this. I mean, you're not, you know, you're, you're not keeping wheels on like a real go-kart or anything. You know I mean? You're literally just pushing this down to the water. Um, or you can pull it around. I pulled it around too, and it, it just works very well. Otherwise, I wouldn't put the video up. <laughs> you know, we got like I said, you got people putting up these videos, and they don't even know if the damn thing works yet. This works, okay? Um, so you're also going to need a piece of, I think this is half inch? Uh, Three-quarter inch, yeah. It doesn't say on it, but it's three quarter inch. And then you need a piece of half inch copper. All right. And that's going to be like one of the main pieces where the wheel went, the wheel and the keel. And that's going to help it spin. I put a little bit of grease on the outside of it just to keep it spinning a little easier, although it spins just fine. So get a length of that. I mean, that's literally all the piece that you need. So just get, you know, if you have some laying around or, um, uh, they sell them in like two or three foot sections in the plumbing section at Lowe's, uh, along with the copper as well. They sell like this little piece of copper. It's a little bit longer. It's like maybe like 12 inches and it's for like five or six bucks. So you don't have to buy like all these full lengths for all this stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, and then of course the tires go with whatever tires you went. I went with the Gorilla Carts tires. Um, I just, you know, I work hard for my money. I want a tackle company and, uh, you know, I've, this is the tackle company. It's on Facebook if you guys want to check it out. Bass Angler Bait Co. Um, you don't have to buy lures for me or anything like that. Just, you know, interaction's cool. You know, I'm just, uh, you know, I, I live in Nevada near Ta uh, Lake Tahoe, kind of. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be doing a lot of tournaments in California. And I'll be fishing all up and down in California looking for my personal best this year, which right now it's seven and a half. So, you know, hopefully I can meet some of you guys and we can get out there and get on the water and, and fish around stuff, you know. But um, if you don't, if you disagree with this mod or anything like that, that's fine. Just don't be a dick about it, right? Okay. All right. Um, so when you put this thing together, it's just super easy, you know. You're just taking, you got to make sure you put your, uh, I guess you can put it on either side. It really doesn't matter. But then you're just putting this thing together, you know, there. And then uh, the axle arms. And this really isn't even necessary, probably, but um, it just kind of makes sense, makes it look better. I'm going to spray paint this the same camel color as my thing there. And then uh, this guy going to go on.
upper piece, three quarter inch, you see? And then that's where you're gonna stop right there. And then you're gonna slide this thing through, and then you're gonna slide that on, that on, that on, and then tire, and well, just tire, <laughs> and then this, and then the pin. So um, I'll show you how quick it is to put it on. It can be um, a bit of a bear to put it on if, uh, if you don't do it, like it takes a couple couple seconds to figure out the best way for you to do it. Um, one thing I did do is I just slid the tire underneath here like this. Just like that. You don't have to do that. You can just hold it up or whatever. And then... So that sides all the way in. Let me put our washer on. Now, sometimes when you push on this, it'll want to come out the other side. So just be careful pushing on it like that. And then grab our tire. Grab the washer. Grab the pin. And then you're done and then she's ready to go um, now another reason why I did this mod is because you know I have my anchor on this side and uh, even if you have your kayak balanced perfectly as soon as you bring it off that center line it's gonna want to go to that way so you know I was having problems lifting this thing up and it wanting to tilt to the left and I have to drop it real quick so it doesn't tilt Pick it up, it wants to drop to the left, I set it down again. So I needed something with two wheels and, you know, uh, feel free should have put two wheels on this, would have made it way better. But I also understand, they just made it for concrete and, you know, you're supposed to buy a cart, so. Um, or do this, right? But I'm gonna, probably eventually going to buy a cart, but, you know, I have other mods I want to do. I have other things that I'm doing, and this is just something to get me going, get me on the water, and, uh, you know, make it a lot easier for me. And I spent uh, $65 on this whole setup. Uh, you can get it for cheaper by getting cheaper tires. It costs 20 bucks. And, uh, you know, but again, like I said, I wasn't trying. This isn't called the, the cheapest mod out there. You know, it's just 65 bucks compared to $180 for a cart. It's a no-brainer for me because, you know, I just spent, you know, uh, a bunch of money on... You know, on the camel bag and you know and the anchor wizard and carbon fiber paddle and all that kind of stuff you know so if I can do a mod that works this good that's not just some cheesy mod then you know I'm definitely gonna do it so uh, but anyway that's the mod thank you guys for watching and I hope uh, hope you guys do this let me know how it works for you